Hi friends, I am Anil Agarwal. In this video, I will discuss why moist air is less dense than dry air. First of all, let me make it clear that we are talking about moisture and we are not talking about water in liquid form. Water in liquid form is certainly much dense and that is why the confusion. The density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. If we consider this one, a small volume of 1 centimeter cube, if we consider a cube having length, breadth and height all equal to 1 centimeter and put some water in it, it will weigh 1 gram. Therefore, the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. But when we talk about moisture, we are talking about water vapors maybe in gaseous form, approximately in gaseous form. Now the molecular mass of water is H2O, so it is 1 plus 1, 1 for hydrogen and 16 for oxygen. The molecular mass of water is 18. So 18 grams of water will occupy a volume of 18 cc. Or say if we consider the volume as 22.4 liters, as per Avogadro's law, in water form, in liquid form, the water will occupy a volume of uh, 22.4 liters of water will weigh 22.4 kg. When we consider water in gaseous form, uh, when it has evaporated and the separation between the molecules is pretty large, 22.4 liters of water gas just weighs 18 grams. So now the density of water vapor gas should be considered as 18 grams per 22.4 liters. If we consider dry air as a mixture of, essentially as a mixture of nitrogen and oxygen, say oxygen, the mass of oxygen molecule is 32 amu, the mass of nitrogen molecule is 22 am, 28 amu, sorry, excuse me. So let us consider the average mass of an air molecule be 29 grams. So the density of air at NTP can be termed as 29 grams per 22.4 liters. I recall the density of water molecules in gaseous form should be treated as 18 grams per 22.4 liters while that of dry air should be termed as 29 grams per 22.4 liters. There we understand that if we replace a few nitrogen and oxygen molecules by water molecules, the average density of the thing being coiled, called as moist air will certainly decrease. Therefore, moist air is less dense than dry air. I repeat, the density of water molecules in gaseous form should be treated as 18 grams per 22.4 liters while that of dry air, it should be treated as 29 grams per 22.4 liters. So, the final conclusion, moist air is less dense. Let me explain it uh, theoretically. Say, if we replace some of the oxygen molecules or some of the hydrogen some of the oxygen molecules or some of the nitrogen molecules of the dry air by hydrogen molecules, uh, we are re replacing the heavier O atoms or O molecules or nitrogen atoms by lighter H atoms. The total number of molecules still remaining the same. Since we are replacing few nitrogen atoms or hydrogen atoms by H atoms, the density decreases. The total volume is still the same. That's it. Thank you.